Hey everyone, welcome back. It is now February 11th of 2021 and I'm sure that a lot of you are very well aware of what happened just yesterday, of what The Hollywood Reporter was talking about, Variety and many other major media outlets out there about the Gina Carano situation and exactly what's happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm as we speak when it comes to projects like The Mandalorian Season 3 and of course Rangers of the New Republic and more. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they are already working on over a dozen Star Wars projects, which is a big deal. That's a lot for Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas to work on. But there are two major projects that they view as very important to this new universe. That, of course, being Mandalorian Season 3, which, by the way, would be the latest, you know, project within the Mandoverse, if you will. And then we have Rangers of the New Republic, which is going to take place just after the events of Return of the Jedi. Which, by the way, no worries, the project is still on. It's still set to come out in the next couple of years. Now, the thing about all of this, all right, you guys may very well be very confused about the Gina Carano situation and exactly why Lucasfilm did what they did. Now, I understand a lot of you out there may have your own opinions about Gina Carano's views on things or her own views or opinions, if you will, of her outlook on specific aspects. And I understand that not everybody is going to agree with, with what Gina Carano has been writing on social media, such as Twitter, etc. I myself love Gina Carano. I think that she's a great actress. I think that her character, Cara Dune, is a great character. But I understand that everybody has their own views. And I think that when we look at everything related to what she wrote the latest on social media, it really, you know, kind of rubbed things the wrong way on a lot of fans out there. And of course, the higher-ups over at Lucasfilm. Now, we're not getting into that, we're actually getting more so into what's going on with Jon Favreau and his outlook on everything of what's happening and why it's causing such a mess for his plan of the new universe. Now, specifically, now that The Mandalorian Season 3 is in the works, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars projects for the universe. However, it's described that Jon Favreau behind the scenes is very furious with Lucasfilm's decision to fire Gina Carano from The Mandalorian series and Rangers of the New Republic. Favreau is annoyed given that he had written the character to fit with actress Gina Carano and that this is now creating a major workload for him to rewrite aspects of Rangers of the New Republic that he had gotten done so far. John Favreau also is very angry over the fact that Lucasfilm decided to fire Gina Carano while he was in the middle of working on Mando Season 3, which the scripts are almost finished now and will have to create rewrites as Lucasfilm is debating to recast in the character with a new actress. Favreau further, however, no, uh, no longer actually supports exactly what Lucasfilm has been doing with Cara Dune. Now let me stop right here for a second. They want to recast Cara Dune. And the problem with this is if the character looks way too different than Gina, it's going to feel very out of place and inconsistent. The point here being is that Jon Favreau wants to end the character completely and maybe even focus on a brand new one. Moving on. Favreau, however, no longer all right, does not want to do this and wants to stop using the character completely since he feels the character is best suited for Gina Carano and that looking for a recast is only going to delay The Mandalorian Season 3's release for 2022. Additionally, Favreau behind the scenes is very upset over the decision of Gina getting fired from Lucasfilm and having no chance of coming back to Star Wars. So let that sink in there for a moment, all right? Everything that has been happening about the last 48 hours or so, it's been a big deal. It just came out yesterday, however, but within the last 48 hours, a lot of things have been happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. Now, as I said in the beginning of this video, you guys may very well disagree or agree with Gina Carano's vision on certain aspects. You know exactly what I'm talking about, her latest post. But at the end of the day, you know, love Gina or hate Gina, she's been expressing these kinds of opinions on social media for a very long time. My problem is, why did Lucasfilm wait so long to fire her at the very last minute out of the blue at random? 
it just makes no sense to me. They could have done this at very every moment at any time they could have done this. But they had to do it when Jon Favreau, at all times, is almost done writing The Mandalorian Season 3. And how he is already beginning to work on Rangers. And now that's going to kind of shift things dramatically and potentially even delay The Mandalorian Season 3 release. I mean, this is a mess for John and Dave. Do I think it's the end of the new Star Wars universe? Not even close. Don't even worry about that. But it will have a small dent on exactly the production process of, of course, the three main shows. We're talking about Mandalorian Season 3, we're talking about Rangers and the Ahsoka Tano series. Again, it's a ripple effect, all right? Dave and John work together as a team. When one project kind of has a lot of, you know, difficulties, that's going to have a domino effect on the other shows. So it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not The Mandalorian Season 3 is going to be delayed or if the Mandoverse overall is going to be shifted a little bit. Now, do I think that the Mandoverse is going to be delayed dramatically? I don't think so. We might see a couple of shows delayed by maybe two months or so, maybe three months at maximum. Not a big, big deal, but still, this is once again another mishap within the Star Wars universe. It's almost like you can expect it to happen every single year. It's almost like what's next for 2022? Are one of the major shows like Ahsoka Tano going to get canceled? It really makes you wonder things like that. But I don't think so, you know, given that that show is by far the most anticipated show aside from the Kenobi series, which by the way is due for 2022 next year. Now, everything related to Gina Carano, guys, like I say, very sweet woman. Uh, do I feel that she deserves to have been fired from Lucasfilm in such a way? I don't believe so. You know, I think that at the end of the day, what actors and actresses should begin doing, and this is just my outlook on things, you know, whether you have specific views, whatever, not my business, right? But I think that it's best to do away with social media, period. Whether you're a director, a writer, or an actor, maybe just ditch the social media and to kind of just focus away from that. This way you don't have to have any kind of difficulties in the long run. That's just my take on things. But that does not mean that I'm saying that freedom of speech should be lost at all in any way. Now once again, what she wrote is very much debated on whether or not it's right or wrong. And a lot of people have been talking about that. But like I say, why did Lucasfilm fire her at last minute is beyond me if Gina has been writing stuff like that on social media for a very long time now. So like I've said before in the past guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.